<laughs> I'm so nervous. Really? I'm worried. I don't I, believe I'm you. I'm worried. I cannot do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can do it. And okay, I will try. I will try. Okay. I will try for 1,000 baht. Welcome back to Belang Day. I'm Sunny Burns, and our program is about encouraging English students to be strong and confident when speaking English. Let's welcome today's guest. Hello. Hello. Sadika. Sadika. Hello, Sadika. Hello. Nice to meet oh, you. Nice to meet you too. Uh -huh. And what's your name? Sorry. Doc. Ah. Oh. Doc. Oh. Yes, the name of flower. Like a flower. Yes. What type of flower? Um, it's like a small flower on the road. I'm too big. But too big. my name is too small flower, but my body is too big. <laughs> Dog. Oh. Dog. Oh. Yes, not term E, not term alphabet E on uh, before my my name. Why is that? That's me. Dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. So today we have a mission for you. Uh huh. Your mission is to speak with me for five minutes. So today's topic is first date. First date. Okay. First date. Okay. 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 All right. Stopwatch. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Okay. So, where do you think the perfect location is for a date? First date. Where is the first? Oh, where is the good place for first day? Correct. Mm, I think for me, I think it's up to that the couple guy. It's up to the guy. It's up to the woman because maybe we doesn't know. Uh, I, I doesn't know what they think. Mm -hmm. I think on. Uh, I, I think at the bus stop can date also. Really on the bus yes. stop? Yes, bus stop can date because everything. Uh, every place. Uh, candid and can be the romantic place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And you, what do you think your first date? I think it has to be somewhere in public because uh -huh. you don't know if they're a killer or not. So if you're oh. meeting them from Tinder uh -huh. or some website, you don't want to be like Ting Long Kong. But for, for me, my, my date at a Tinder, I, I met a guy in the Tinder, I meet at my room. Right? <laughs> well, you know what? Watch Netflix and chill means meet in your room for a bit of fun. Yes, fun. I'm I'm just cooking for him. Mm -hmm. I'm just cooking some Thai food for him. And free breakfast as well. Ah, oh, okay. Huh? Free breakfast as well. Free breakfast, mm. lor. God, it's up it's up to him what he give it to me. <laughs> if he is the good thing for me, uh -huh. I will cook for him. Do you think you should hook up like kiss on a first date? For me, my first date, hook up or for me, for my first date, I, I never kiss. I suck <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, what? Uh, suck the candy. Oh. Uh, not suck another and thing. And have a surprise at uh, the end. A surprise. I'm suck the candy. I suck the candy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, da. If I'm rude, I'm sorry, da. Oh, I'm blushing. No, I'm shy. Normally, <laughs> normally the guest is the shy one. I'm the shy one. Okay, so if you're going out to dinner, should the boy pay or the girl pay? Ah, oh, who should pay, right? For yeah. the first date. For me, na. For me, I think chair. Okay. Chair is mean. Chair, chair is mean. You pay, I pay. Not share single, na. Not, not, not the shit. Not share, na, na. Share, is if we eat some some dinner, uh -huh. we have to share. We should share. Okay. Fifty, okay. fifty. You 50. pay and I pay. Uh, you pay and pay is okay. I think it's um, it's not be selfish. Mm -hmm. If if the someone pay, but but for. I, I see many friends, nah. woman friend, woman friend. She's always thinking about <coughs> when she go to date. I'm sorry, when she go to date, she think about only man must pay, mm -hmm. pay, pay, pay. If the man not pay, she upset, yeah. Up, upset, she angry. Mm -hmm. And I told her, you crazy. If you want to meet someone, but this is your date, you just meet him first time. Uh -huh. You should pay. He isn't your husband. <laughs> he isn't your husband, so he, he shouldn't take care of you all thing. Mm -hmm. You should pay, pay, pay. You have job. He has job. That means have money also. 
Okay. Okay. All oh, right. Good. Ten. And now, what topics should you not speak about on the first date? First date, love. Ham food, love. Thai cup. Ham food. Oh, I'm sorry. Speak Thai. Not a lot. Cannot. Uh, first date, ham food. About about ex boyfriend. Yeah. Right? About fan cow. Fan cow. You don't want your date to think that you're obsessed with your ex. Uh, again, please. You don't want your date uh. to think that you're obsessed with your ex. What does it mean? Obsessed. 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 Obsessed in Thai means like. Clang Klai. Clang Klai. Clang Klai. Oh, like a crazy. crazy. Oh. Yeah. New word. This word, I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> so, what topics should you not speak about on a first date? Ah, oh, about it, my friend, mm -hmm. it's a friend. Because I, I think, uh, we doesn't know, and I doesn't know what their past. Maybe if if I date with you, mm -hmm. if example, if I date with you. And I talk about your ex boy, a uh, ex girlfriend. I doesn't know you have the bad experience or bad time with him uh -huh. or not. I think it's so jealous if you talk about your your past uh -huh. because this is the first day. Yeah. I think it is a bad opinion for talk about your your ex boyfriend. Okay. I think if we if we want to meet new some, uh, if we want to meet new one or maybe he will be. A uh, boyfriend in in the future. Uh -huh. We have to go on. Mm -hmm. The past is go away. Mm -hmm. I will leave the past okay. and I will walk and meet him together for in the future. Mm -hmm. Not, not think about the past. Oh, time's up. Oh, well done. Thank you very much, Lily. Really? Yeah. Because I'm, 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 I, I think my English is so bad. Na bad kemma na. Uh huh. I'm so sorry. If no, I don't say it. sorry. You did a really good job. Oh, Lily, really? thank yeah. you. So the whole point of this program is to be confident with English and uh -huh. have a conversation like we were friends. Uh -huh. And that's what I felt that our conversation was. Uh huh. It was hanging out with a friend. Mm. So today I want to give you some feedback. Uh -huh. So there was a couple of words that you didn't understand. Uh -huh. So the first one was hook up. Hook up. Okay. So with hook up, it means like in this situation, it means mm -hmm. like kiss mm -hmm. to have sex or anything in the middle. Okay. okay. That's mean hook up. Mm -hmm. Or hook up can mean like friends with benefits or a gig or one night stand. I love friends with benefits. <laughs> So, <laughs> I love this word, friend with benefits. So you can just say, instead of saying friends with benefits, you can say a hookup. Ah. So that boy, he's not my boyfriend. Uh -huh. He is just a hookup. So there's lots of different meanings. And another uh -huh. one was obsessed. 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 So I use obsessed all the time, mm -hmm. right? So it means like crazy. I'm obsessed African guy. <laughs> Mm, okay then. <laughs> because African guys so strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, well, you heard it first. Okay, so that's all that we have time for today. But you have won 1,000 bucks. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Thank well, thank you. you so much for taking ha. part in the show today. Ha. Don't bother about learning English you will never use. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to take part in our show, send us a message at our Facebook page at Falang Day. I'll see you soon at bungaboo.tv. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka.